Hello and welcome to Reddit on Reddit, the internet's auditory version of Reddit. I'm Nelson Allingham, joined by Michael Cambo Campbell. You sound worse. I was going to say, this is Reddit on Reddit, a point five. Yeah. <laughs> Most people go up, but we went down. Yes. Yeah. I, 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 upfront apologies. The audio is not as good this week. Uh, it's a very boring explanation, but it's, we're on our backup system. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, basically... We we probably bought something cheaper that we shouldn't have. That's a lesson to us. In fact, <laughs> I saw that this week on uh, on uh, Ask Reddit. It's like, what's something that you bought that was cheap, and then you regretted it later? I was like, oh, well, we're probably already going to talk about our recording equipment, yeah, yeah. so I won't put that one in. <laughs> Otherwise, we'd just be repeating ourselves. But anyway, that's what's happening. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cambo, what'd you get up to this week? Uh, not a whole lot, but I did want to say. Saw a, a movie this week called yeah. Love Simon. Okay, uh, it's very good, Nelson. You should you should check it out. Sounds gay. It is. Oh, <laughs> it's a, it actually yeah. It's about a. Uh, I feel I, bad for saying that now. <laughs> it's about a young... like there's nothing wrong. That's fine. If you like men, that's cool. It's not for me, but so you have seen the movie. This is the lesson of the movie. The, oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, it's a movie about a young closeted man who's coming to terms with having to come out. And being okay. scared of doing that at high school. Okay. It's, um, there's a thing that, that we always say, it's like, ha, ha, oh. Uh, it's yeah. one of those kind of movies. Uh, okay. It's a bit, ha, ha, oh. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's nice. That's, uh, that's like uh, Ricky Gervais's um, Derek mm-hmm. was, was uh, dubbed as a crimedy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I feel <laughs> like maybe that's kind of on a similar... Yeah, this, you know? is, this is more kind of almost sickly sweet. All right. You know? Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh. Anyway, you know what? I didn't really have anything. I was thinking about what I did this week. I didn't really do anything. Uh. There was um. I read a lot of D and D books. Mm-hmm. It's really nerdy. Yeah. And also, um. But just before the podcast, I felt like I could only bring this up here. Okay. Right? Use a safe space. It's a safe space. Yeah, okay. I feel like people. I probably aren't going to judge me that much. Okay. But it's about uh it's about someone that um it, it was a post somebody put on a Facebook group. Yep. And it was about their brother that had passed away. Okay. And he passed away due to a heart condition. Yeah. Right? And it was a sad post. They're like oh, I grew really close to this person, like to my brother. Yeah, yeah. Um you know, very touching. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. And she said, yeah, he died of a heart condition, came out of nowhere, but he put up one hell of a fight, you know, right. and he finally passed away. It was just a really sad moment. And she put a photo up of this guy, and right next to him is an ashtray full of cigarettes. Right. But, but everybody on this face, like nobody's uh, okay. commenting on, uh, yeah. oh, yeah. it came out of nowhere, did it, this heart okay. condition? But I felt like I needed to bring it up somewhere. Otherwise, I was going right. to implode. Okay? <laughs> okay. Definitely. Like, what, I'm very sorry for the man. But you bought that upon yourself. Okay. If just, okay, for any new listeners that may have tuned in this week, uh, this is just a, a thing that we do where we let Nelson say something <laughs> that is not uh, a kind of, uh, I guess, a publicly held opinion. Hey. But it's been irking him. No, it's like everybody. This is an instance where I'm not alone. Everybody was thinking it, right? But not his sister, obviously. Well, not his sister, but everybody else was, right? You know. Um. So his sister is grieving. Yeah. What What good into the world do you think that you bringing this up will achieve? No, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you ever just wanted to, like, you know, somebody somebody says something incorrect, right? In like a public space, mm-hmm. and you're like, "Oh, I really want to correct them." Yeah. You know, it's like the if somebody spells something wrong, right, and it's annoying you, and you're like, "Oh, I just want to correct them," but you can't do that because then you look like the "Oh, you're the grammar Nazi," blah blah blah. Right? This is the equivalent uh-huh. of that. I just needed to point it out to somebody, okay, but not that it didn't come out of nowhere. It didn't come out. It's fine. Yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. I, I get that normally with people's phrasings. Um, not quite to the extent that, that you're saying here, but I remember, I think I think I even said this before on the show. There was someone, and their house got broken into, and they were very angry. Mm. And they put up a status online, and they said to the people that broke into my house, "You deserve everything you get." 
Yeah. I'm like, yeah, you just want to, you just want to rephrase that. Exactly. Yeah. So you want to tell that person, but you're like, no, nah, but you know, <laughs> yeah. they just, uh, they just had everything stolen. They just had everything <laughs> stolen. <laughs> All right, Gambo. Um, just before we do get into Reddit, I'm Reddit. Can I tell you? Okay. Listening to the to us yeah. in the headphones, it sounds really bad. Yeah, it does. It sounds way worse than I remember it sounding. Does that mean that the quality of the show must be far better, so they'll put up with this uh, not as good audio? Uh, yeah, I mean, or they might. We might just lose a bunch of listeners. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see. Um, we know what our average listenership is per episode. <laughs> How much lower this one is? Do you wonder? There's a cable at the bottom of your microphone. I'll just jiggle that a little. I don't think that was it either. Okay. Because it happened to that me one mine. time. Happened to you one time. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let's move into Reddit on Reddit. <laughs> okay, this first Reddit on Reddit. It is by. Uh, it's by what? Ah, oh, this Reddit on Reddit is by Mavia. Just so you know, Cambo was Cambo's filming us, and yeah. I put my hand in front of the camera. Yeah, I, I've I've put a camera right on Nelson, uh, but the problem is when he lifts up his phone to read the notes, yeah, it couldn't be more directly in front of the camera. And you said before the show, are you gonna are you gonna yeah. read the notes like that? I was like, no, <laughs> I did exactly what I did before the show. Okay, anyway, this this uh, Reddit on Reddit. I'm glad I found this one. Mavia, <laughs> yeah. And can I tell you, this Mavia person, Yeah, I reckon this is like the third week in a row we've had one of them, and we've used them before yeah. as well. friend of the show. Friend of the show, apparently. Yeah. They don't know it, but... Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, Elon Musk. Mm. Mm-hmm. Cambo, Elon. Yeah, patron saint of the podcast. Elon Musk has set aside $15 million for an X Prize contest for entrepreneurs who can find the most effective way to use software to teach illiterate children living in extreme poverty with the goal of wiping out illiteracy, a condition that Musk called the wellspring of, pro- of poverty. Okay. So, Cambo. What's your plan? What's your plan? Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Software to help people read. $15 million is on the line. Yeah. Subscription to audible.com. Isn't that, isn't that a bit of a slap in the face? You yeah. know, hey, I'll give $15 million if you help out some poor kids. Yeah. <laughs> How about give them the $15 million? <laughs> then they'll be yeah. able to read fine. If you were like, get you get like, I don't know, uh, 30, 30, th- oh, no, I need to do my math here. <laughs> 30 kids. Yeah, and you're like, I'll give you half a million dollars each right, if you so learn you, how to read. Right. So you, you well, yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess that's you could probably do it for less. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, half a million dollars seems extreme. Yeah, but I didn't want to have to do the maths to whatever like fifteen thousand dollars is and how many kids that would equal. <laughs> but then why don't you just be like, uh, to, nah, yeah, you're right. This to me yeah. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> It's not really. We're yeah. just really bad at maths. Yeah. One hundred and fifty thousand dollars <laughs> for. I don't know. <laughs> I actually meant to do that the other way. Ten dollars, one hundred fifty thousand kids. Is that right? I don't. Know. I don't know. I no way. That's to... not right. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, maths. <laughs> do you know what? If somebody could give us money to learn maths, mm. that'd be great. Mm. In excess, we'll pay you fifteen million dollars. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, okay, well, uh, so yeah, I, I've been trying to think of ideas, um, and so he, wa- he wants to use software there. Yeah, in you know specifically, so just paying kids off isn't going to be a thing. That's right. not software. So, yeah, but unless you like electronically transfer the money. Oh, see what I'm saying? Oh my God, we're onto something, can we? Yes. <laughs> Wait, this is very good. This is very good. Okay, you solve two problems at once. Yes. You now explain <gasps> how. Oh my God, I've got it. This is actually going to be it. Okay. okay, this is actually going to be it. All right. No one steal this. No one steal this idea. <laughs> or if you do, just give us some of the fifteen million dollars. Yeah. Half. Yeah. Because we came up with it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so um, the idea is you get kids to read read online, right? So yeah. they have a software. They also need to have a mic. Sure. Webcam optional. Yep. Or maybe not because, I don't know, pedophiles might get onto it. Okay. <laughs> right. I'm just thinking about... Look, anyway, anyway. All right. 
So kids read, uh, like text on screen, like could be a novel or anything. Yeah. Um, and it maybe just gives them simple, you know, like I feel like there's there's uh, reading software out there, right? Yeah. But it's about the incentive for them to keep going. Okay. And, and that's money. And they, that's right, it's money. But they read to people that are blind. Okay. Maybe so, kids so, that are blind. So the kids that can't read, yeah, they're learning to read through this reading software. Yeah. But they are connected with a microphone or webcam optional, depending on pedophiles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need a webcam because they're reading to blind people. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, scrap the webcams. Scrap the webcams. There's a chance that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. <laughs> so, these kids that are learning to read, they use the software mm-hmm. and they read through a microphone on the internet to blind children. Yeah. Okay, that's not bad. I think that's pretty good. Yeah. And then they are paid for that? Yeah, you give them like, I don't know, a bit of money. No, you I mean, got, like, you got there, 15 million, give there, them a little there bit. There has to be, like, some sort of system where, like, maybe the the blind people pay for, you know, uh, but then uh, that doesn't seem like that would happen. I feel like there needs to be a model in which you're paying for the service of being read to. But oh, also, it's kind right. of shitty reading, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like there you could go to on Audible. Man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. You could go on Audible, so it needs and just to be, get somebody that's like pretty decent. It needs to be cheaper than the subscription to Audible.com, Audible. which is pretty cheap. Yeah, it's like seven bucks a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and they've got like professional actors. Yeah, not I know. some dumb kids that don't even know how to read. Oh god. All right. Okay. Look, there's something in this idea there. Okay. There's something yeah, there. Yeah. Kids reading. It's kids not learning to read. It's not Elon ready yet. Wait a second. Okay. <laughs> I dismissed something earlier, <laughs> but I'm thinking maybe that's the go-to. Okay. Mm? Pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just joking. That's a terrible idea. But I mean, they probably would pay to listen to kids read to them. It's all I'm saying. <laughs> I'm not endorsing right, it. I'm right. just saying, look, technically, yeah. if you really want to do, that's how you'd get the revenue. But this, don't do that. Don't do that because that's a bad idea. This is a particularly bad episode for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, somebody, uh, Bill, actually, from uh, Escape This Podcast, consistently yeah. reminds me that I they always... Um, I always uh, emphasize that I'm the villain of the show. I keep, wow. I reinforce that every yeah. now and again. Yeah. So I, I mean, think you're not wrong. I guess one of those <laughs> moments, actually. Uh, but uh, okay, what's your genius idea? If mine was so terrible, I just told you, pay them. Just pay them money. It's not software, Cambo. At all. <sighs> oh crap! I accidentally. What have you done? Nothing's fine. It's good. Okay. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go on to another one. This show is a fucking mess. Okay, this one is by Get It Cambo Mavia again. Yeah, that's right. Twice in Two. one episode. You have fallen bloody in love with this guy. This or girl? We don't know. This guy. We loves don't know this, this person. I, do you know? I've sent this person um, multiple because every time I use one of their comments, sure. I say, "Oh, hey, we used your comment." Yeah. Uh, and recently. I was like, uh, the last one I sent, I was like, hey, we use your comments so much. Like, thanks. Just, I, I didn't send him the generic one. In yeah. The end. I was Ooh. just like, I've sent this to you so many times. Like, mm. I may as well send you a, a personable one. Yeah. Uh, and then and they got back to me and they said, yeah, I, I, I haven't got around to listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's, uh, that's fair. He's that's pretty fair. much the third person on the show at this point. Yeah, that's right. Uh, anyway, uh, Mavia says, uh, a self-driving Uber killed a pedestrian. Human drivers will kill 16 today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, okay. What do you make of this whole self-driving Uber killing a woman? Uh, Obviously it's terrible, right? Like, yeah. But so, uh, Uber released the footage. Uh, I don't know if you saw Have you seen the footage? Oh no. I didn't okay. See so it. Uber released the footage and I think I know why they did. Because having watched it, I'm like, she stepped in front of it a little bit, yeah. So obviously, yeah. you know, it's terrible that she's she's dead, but yeah, and and she so it's it's very dark mm. uh, on a on a main highway. Yeah, she's got no reflective gear, and you see at the last second step in front of this car, right? Uh, and obviously the the car couldn't stop in time. The the computer, 
Yeah, but I would say nor could any human. Yeah, th- this it mm. was an unavoidable thing. Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't really the car's fault. Yeah, yeah. Uh, That's right. It saw it at the last minute and braked like it should have. But yeah. I mean, it was pitch black. It was a huge highway and sh- you couldn't see it. Yeah, yeah. Until she was directly in your headlights. Well, that's uh, that's kind of like half the point, and especially this the way this one's phrased. It yeah. says, uh, human drivers will kill 16 today. Yeah. It's like exactly the point. And I, I sort of hated uh, the idea of reading this, um, but at the same time, because uh, I read it quite earlier on in the week. I can't remember yeah. when it happened. Uh, but because you get been... all the people coming out being like, "See, this is the problem." Yeah, that's right. But um, but I've been, uh, I guess, reassured mm-hmm. only because I feel like, even though it was kind of a big deal, it, it got brushed under the rug a little bit. Yeah. You know, in terms of like it was dealt with, that was it. And I think oh, Uber I... cooperated, blah blah blah. And I think them releasing the footage has kind of vindicated them a little bit. Yeah, a lot of people are like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, because I was really worried. Although, see, I think they did, my theory is they did a lot of PR work around this that, oh, you, yeah. that the public didn't necessarily see as such. One being, I think, this article. I read this article that uh, the, the thing links to. And so, uh, you know, for, for the first maybe two, three paragraphs, it talks about the woman that's getting hit by the car. Yeah. And then the rest of it is about road safety in general and how bad that is. And I was like, if I, like, I would be willing to bet money Mm -hmm. that somebody from Uber wrote this article or at least, you know, sort of said to somebody, hey, you should sort of write an article like this where it acknowledges that the accident has happened, but then sidetracked completely into, like, you know, uh, auto vehicle safety on the general. I'm talking about how it kind of it basically says, um, you know, oh, yeah, this is bad, but also humans kill so many more people yeah. through, and, and the government isn't doing enough about all these safety, safety uh, road safety things. Um, so that's, you know, what the issue that we should be looking into. Uh, and I was like, yep, definitely they wrote this and uh, they did a good job. And again, uh, th- this whole thing kind of falls on human error because in each of these self-driving Uber cars, there is still someone inside them that is the backup. Yeah, yeah. If something goes wrong, they're going to take over. And the problem with this is that he wasn't paying attention. Yeah. He was like, oh, he's on his phone or something. Because th- there's cameras facing out and there's cameras facing in and they, they showed both. Right. And he does. He looks up and he sees her and he goes to grab it. But again, even if he was driving, I don't think he would have been quick enough. Yeah, the yeah. The computer wasn't quick enough. I think we should give up on the uh, human drivers, to be perfectly I, honest, I honestly in, think, in those cars. I honestly <laughs> think it's just to make people that are a bit technophobic feel better. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Because yeah. I would trust at this point the computer to do a better job yeah. than someone who has to be there. And this guy had a, a uh, he had a criminal record of some type. And I think it was even like a driving dis- uh, 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 misdemeanor. Okay. Uh, but it, it, Uber has stood by him and said, like, he's still part of the company. He, uh, he was doing exactly what he should have been doing. Yeah. He's yeah. not there to drive the car. Yeah. But that, it didn't look great. And that's, I, gave, I guess, gave like fuel to the flame of people mm-hmm. being like, see, this whole system is flawed. Yeah, yeah. It's that. Ugh, stupid people. It's yeah. fine. Computers are way smarter than us. So much. So I'm an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You, as a comparison, especially. What? Nothing. <laughs> uh, uh, I have a quick one just because we should mention it. Okay. This is by uh, Jose Twitter fan. Or Jose. I don't know. Jose. Jose, but what if it's Jose? It's not. <laughs> or Josie. No, yeah, I didn't no. think about that, did you? No, Josie would be I E. Yeah, it's well, Jose. maybe it's spelled differently, Cambo. <laughs> Who's the insensitive idiot now? <laughs> okay, uh, they wrote uh, hashtag delete Facebook movement gains steam after 50 million users have data leaked. Yep. Now, we talked about this earlier this week. We've spoken about not this. Not on the podcast, but in our IRL. IRL. We talked, we talked about this. Yeah, we try not to because we know we're going to talk about it on the exactly. podcast. Exactly, we have to sit there. And came some up. Night. Yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah, so this whole thing, I, I suppose what I, what I said to you was, mm. 
What surprises me most about this whole Cambridge Analytica, I guess for people that are like, under a rock, uh, Cambridge yep. Analytica is a uh, is like a data firm and like a consultancy. And they were working for the Trump campaign back in 2016 or maybe even 2015 when it was first starting out. Yeah. And they got the information of 50 million people through their Facebook data. Yeah. That was sold to them. And then they used it to target ads on Facebook to support the Trump campaign. Yep. And now a lot of people have lost their mind saying, I can't believe all my data was taken off Facebook to, to be advertised to like this. Yeah. And what I said to you is what amazes me is that people don't know that this happens all the time. Yeah. This isn't unique at all. It's so stupid. People are idiots. <laughs> like, it annoys me so much about how much momentum this has got. Yeah. And uh, somebody uh, that I was reading, oh, I should have written it down. I don't know. But they were saying um, uh, they were getting annoyed about the advertising because that's what it obviously relates to, getting, yeah. getting information. It all relates back to the advertising. Uh, and I hate the idea of like, well, why do you... Why do you want to... Who's this person that's like, oh, you know what? I I don't want this free thing. <laughs> or I do want this free thing, but make it significantly worse. Make it really hard to use, yeah. right? And then give me ads about yoga and, and cat food, things that are totally irrelevant to me. Yeah, so give I, me that. I guess people people that don't know how Facebook makes its money, what Facebook does is it collects all the information that you put into it by liking things on Facebook, mm. by uh, putting your own your birthday, your where you live, um, uh, anniversaries, things like that, yeah, and it takes that information and it sells it to advertisers. That is how it makes all of its money. Yeah, yeah, uh, and, and it's not they're not hacking into anything of yours. This is all information people have readily shared. You've provided. So, yeah, so you can not be advertised to just don't put any of your information onto facebook because if you ever sign up or if it gets updated just look at the terms and conditions they're terrifying well not just facebook like it kills me that this is so targeted towards facebook and obviously it was because it was linked with this scandal essentially yeah but twitter does it yeah, oh, snapchat yeah. does it yep. whatsapp does it fiber does it any free product any free app or software does it 100%. Yeah. Even things that you wouldn't think it it's doing, you know. Yeah. There's places that, um, you know, uh, like Google in general. Google's such a huge one. Yeah. Probably more so than Facebook. I would argue 10 times the amount that Facebook uh, does. Yeah. They Google, like, tracks every freaking thing that you do. <laughs> yeah. I, it knows probably just as much as Facebook does. Have you ever noticed when you're Googling something and you'll start to type and it will pretty much tell you what you want to Google straight away? Yeah. That's because it tracks what you're searching <laughs> yeah. and it knows what you want. Yeah. That that doesn't happen to everyone. Everyone is unique in that sense that when I start type, typing in Google, I might type P-O-D and it'll be podcast setup is broken because it knows <laughs> that our podcast setup is broken because that's something I've been searching. Yeah, that's right. You've, you've got an, uh, a Google Home thing. Yeah, exactly. It's listening to us right it's now. It's listening to us right now. It's probably rating us one on iTunes. <laughs> We're going to set it off. If we keep God talking. damn it. <laughs> Google. Uh, yeah, so th this is just how data is like the new currency for any kind of uh, yeah. app or, or just website in general. Yeah, and just so people can be accurately advertised to. Yeah. Oh, I remember the advertising thing was something more along the lines of um, it was basically uh, playing the victim card mm -hmm. by saying that... Um, by absolving any uh, consumer of self-control. Yeah. Basically saying, oh, this is so bad that they can sell to us by all the things that, you know, we want and, and yeah. need. It's yeah, like, okay. why? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you, if you can't afford to buy something or, you know, a, like a struggle with too much, like that's your own problem. I don't yeah. care about how much people sell to you the things that you want and don't buy them if you can. And here's the thing. If you've ever looked something up, say you looked up I don't know, like a, like a two-man tent, say. Yeah. And then on Facebook, you start seeing more and more things for two-man tents. Yeah. That is because that fucking raise out door, Google has sold that data to an advertising company to raise outdoor and then they're advertising it back to you. Yeah. That's, that's how they've done that. Yeah. Anything that you see on Facebook is targeted through data that Facebook has brought or yeah. sold, I should say. But yeah. But you don't have to buy it. 
It's just advertising. You've you never had to buy anything that's advertised to you, ever. No. You've and never had to do it. If you really want to, you can turn it off. Yeah, Just right. go into your settings and turn it off. You, every you ad, just get worse ads. Every ad that comes up, you can say, I don't want to see this. I yeah. don't want to see this. No, fine. but you can actually go on your settings and say what you want Facebook to be able to oh, take. Oh, yeah, that's right, yeah. And you can turn it off, but then you're just going to get worse ads. You'll still get ads. you still get thing. ads. <laughs> you may as well get ads that you like. You said this was a short thing. <laughs> We've talked about this for way too long. I just hate people so much. <laughs> I just hate them, and I need to talk about it. Okay. Uh, but uh, anyway, I had another point, but I don't know. Maybe we should leave. No, do it quickly. Because um, it's a bad episode anyway. <laughs> that's true. Nobody's going to listen to this. Nobody's going to get this far into it. Um, it was about... Oh, no, I can't remember. Okay, let's move on. Okay. <laughs> We're losing steam quickly. <laughs> okay, uh, well, Camber, let's get into Today I Learned. So now it's time for Today I Learned. Today I Learned. This Today I Learned is by Azazel IMX. Also, it was sent to me by a friend of the show, Mitch. Good one, Mitch. Thanks, Mitch. Today I learned in the late 1800s, Australian surveyors had realised the two tallest mountains, Mount Kosciuszko and Mount Townsend, were mismeasured, and in fact, Mount Townsend was taller. Instead of rewriting many textbooks, the New South Wales government decided to switch the two names, leaving us with what we have today. Yeah, I like that solution. Don't you think that that's such an Aussie thing? Yeah. <laughs> Every, everything about that is Aussie. Yeah. Not just that they switched the names, but, but the fact that they mismeasured it in the first place yeah. <laughs> just seems like, just seems like you know, somebody is like, oh, hey, how tall do you reckon that is? Uh, I don't know. A few hundred kilometers? Well, uh, that, Actually, that's, that's probably ridiculous. Well, that's, nice. that's, uh, <laughs> that's real tall, Frank. I reckon that's the biggest. Yeah. Oh, how yeah. about that one? Oh, yeah, that's pretty big, too. Oh, probably, probably second biggest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then they went back to measure it, and they were like, oh, shit. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> you know how that one was Kosciuszko, and that one was, what was it, uh, Townsend? That one was Mount Townsend. Yeah. And we said that Kosciuszko was the big one. Yeah. Actually, it's Townsend, but we've printed all those m- the maps. <laughs> yeah. Textbooks. Textbooks. Well, actually, did they change the maps? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, oh, gee, should we go and change all of our printing of the sign saying that Kosciuszko is the biggest? He's like, nah, just swap them. Yeah. Swap just them, two eh? guys <laughs> with the signs crossed each other's path yeah. as they were going to the, the different mountains. Yeah. You see them walk up there, hey, hey, you switch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought that was just so yeah. stupid because and, and, that's exactly. What and even is. though this was the 1800s, I imagine them in the short, like hard yakka shorts. Yeah, and high vis. I don't. Know. Yeah. I don't know why. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I imagine that too. <laughs> uh, um, I think. Uh, do you know what I was going to say? Actually, is for I kind of wanted to point this out for uh, perhaps overseas listeners mm-hmm. if they are listening. The. We Mount Kosciuszko yep. is the highest mountain, previously Mount Townsend, mm-hmm. just by the way. Yep. Uh, it's a, such a pathetic mountain. Yes. <laughs> I climbed to the top. I was like, oh, okay, is this it? It was a real, it was such a slow, like, incline to the yeah. top. It yeah. was a really leisurely walk. <laughs> the fact that Australia <laughs> even tries to claim that it, it has a tallest mountain, yeah. I would just ignore it's that got a question. Big, it's got a right? big hill. If somebody was like, yeah, if somebody was like, oh, hey, do you, what's your tallest mountain? It would be like, uh, we've got a big banana. <laughs> we do have one of those. Right? That'd be That's pineapple. more impressive yeah. than the hill, which we claim is a mountain. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know? I, but the, the good thing about, I think this, this subreddit and this show as well is it's ammunition for those kinds of people. Mm. And now when someone goes, oh, geez, you know, um, highest mountain in Australia is Mount Kosciuszko. And you can go, oh, is that what you think it is? Yeah. We're talking about Mount Townsend. Oh, yeah, because yeah, it was renamed Mount Kosciuszko. Sorry, yeah. I go by the 1800s <laughs> reference exactly. to mountains, <laughs> not the current day, obviously, like some chump. <laughs> oh, I see you haven't looked up your mountain history. That's embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, don't worry. I won't tell anyone, but I will tell you right now. Uh, yeah, that's true. All righty. Uh, I have another one here. Okay. This is by Captain Nicholas. Uh, today I learned... That the pink hat man is a 72-year-old man who owns clubs, Cubs tickets and sits behind home plate 
but wears a pink hat so his wife knows that he is at the game and not cheating. Right. So obviously this guy has some sort of uh, infamy yeah. as always being, I guess, behind home plate at a Cubs game right. with a pink hat on. Does he have an infamy for cheating on his wife? It's a weird thing what? to sort of <laughs> Why suggest. would you just assume that? He's like, oh, I'm out to the game. She's like, oh, sure you are. What's yeah. her name? Yeah. <laughs> And he's like, no, seriously, I'll, I'll wear this pink hat and just watch the game on TV, okay? But also, yeah, because this is where I think our minds go. Yeah, just yeah. Get someone else to wear it. Exactly. That's <laughs> it. My, it's just so easy to my, cheat on your wife. Oh my god. First, my very first thought is like, he's like, oh, I'm going out, and she's like, yep, cool. And he's like, oh, just going to watch baseball. Not going to yeah, be cheating. That's, yeah, that's fine. Don't care. That's fine. Go for it. Yeah, just uh, just watching a ball game. Yeah, okay, I don't mind. Oh, um, you know what? You know what? I'll I'll take this pink cap. Um, just, just to prove that I'm gonna watch the ball game and not go sleep with Sharon. Look for me. <laughs> yeah, you know, next door. Sharon. Oh, that's very specific. Yeah, yeah. Why would you bring that up? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then meanwhile, his uh, neighbor, who is married to Sharon, yeah, yeah he's in a loveless marriage, <laughs> but he really loves Cubs football, uh, ah, uh, baseball game. I see where you're going with this. Right, Some kind so, of uh, indecent proposal. Exactly. Yeah, he's like, okay. look, I think your wife is banging. <laughs> How would you like Speaking to trade Cubs tickets? All you have to do, wear this hat. <laughs> Done. Dust love his hands. Job plan well done, okay. I say. So you've cracked the code of the pink hat man. I think that's easy. I think it's, if a, it's that. Like, that's so suspicious. I like, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely there. Yeah. Look for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, that's when you, yeah, you hide in plain sight kind mm. of thing. Yeah. But like, yeah, I don't know. Because I, I think it's a network of men all cheating on their wives with Sharon. Okay, yeah. so there's many pink-hatted men, oh, so yeah. to speak. You collected on the way to the game, like from whoever had it last. Yeah. Okay, right. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's good. There's a shit, there's a roster. So there's just like a hundred guys claiming <laughs> they're that one guy, yeah. Yeah. which they are yeah. like once every hundred times. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's brilliant. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it for this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're going to. Next what? week, I'm going to be wearing a pink hat. Yeah. Cambo, if I sound uh, different, <laughs> so be it. Probably the mics. Probably some yeah, problem yeah, with yeah. the mics again. <laughs> um, but I'll just be my usual witty self. Mm -hmm. But pink hat. Remember the pink hat. I will, I'm going I to be will wearing be sure that. To remember Don't the pink take hat. that off, though. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like. I, uh, I'm gonna be pretty sensitive about yeah, yeah, yeah. about the hat staying right. on because you don't want your wife to think you're cheating. Right? <laughs> yeah, that's what so I, I the, the, yeah, because I would definitely like. Well, that that's definitely Nelson. Yeah, because I, I recognize Nelson mainly from his hair. Yeah, uh, I can't see his hair, but he said he'd be wearing a pink hat. Yeah, but if I take it off and there's different hair, I'll be like, wait a minute. Yeah. And you're different. Yeah, that's and right. you've got a different face. Come to think of it, it would be way too suspicious. Mm. I think. Because, yeah, what's, I mean, why the pink hat? Because surely he could be like, hey, I'm just behind home base. Yeah. So familiar. I think that he must have a well, really generic face. No, I think it's the, you don't really zoom in that close to the crowd, do you? But that would stand but out. But unless you're looking for him. No, I guess. You know, he's like, hey, look for me. I've got the. <laughs> anyway. All right. Uh, Cambo. That was Today I Learned. Was cool. See, I, I caught up time yeah. because we went so long for the other one. I'm getting okay at this podcasting thing. Also, so I'm looking I mean, at the not notes. the recording, obviously. I'm looking at the notes also, which just wasn't another one. Uh, yeah, well, no, we, we did two Today I Learned. That's how this works, Cambo. We always do two. How are you only just getting this? <laughs> We're 78 I'm, episodes in. I'm not aware of anything that happens on this yeah, show. Yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Cambo, let's get into Shower Thoughts. Now we normally do more shower thoughts. I know this. I do have a lot of shower okay. thoughts this week All too. Right. Right. We'll so run late again. Maybe did we go too fast through today? I learned. I don't know. Let's really extend the shower <laughs> thoughts out and uh, see how we go. Okay, this one is Fifty Shades of Krillin, Ooh. which is creepy. That's creepy. Mm. You know, because Krillin's from... Yeah, I know. From Dragon Ball. Fifty Shades of him. <laughs> it's implying something, I think, a bit smutty, can be. <laughs> okay. Earth is currently at the stage that leads into either Star Trek 
or Mad Max. Mm. I think we are more at the stage of uh, Firefly. Right. How or, so? uh, yeah, yeah, Firefly. Because I think um, there's going to be parts of the universe yeah. that are extremely small. And Star Wars could also be uh, related, right? So parts of the universe that are extremely, um, not small, I said small, yeah, I meant poor. <laughs> <laughs> uh, extremely like That's poor. A, it's a weird connotation in your mind to have. Did I? Yeah. Poor, small. Poor, small children that can't read. Lesser. <laughs> uh, and uh, so, yeah, I'm thinking, uh, yeah, there's poor people. Yep. In like the outer planets, sure. and on the inside, there's the empire uh-huh. that's very wealthy, looks uh-huh. after anything. It's very technologically advanced, but there's, uh, yeah, but there's some like poor people just trying to make their way on the outskirts right. and that live more like Mad Max type lives. Right. So you think it's some kind of com- combination? We will mm. have the Star Trek esque kind of facilities, yeah, but would have the Mad Max, or I guess even in Star Wars, like the Rebel kind of uh lower class just getting by by the you know the the skin of their teeth kind of folk yeah yeah mm-hmm. and i think um you know if things are going the way they're going earth is going to be the mad max esque yeah thing and mars is going to be the futuristic planet mm. if elon musk starts a planet that's a planet i want to be on <laughs> we we cannot afford to be on it we can't even afford one of his cars yeah. Imagine trying to go to one of his planets. No, nah, he said he's made it affordable, though. Yeah, but... <laughs> think, okay, first... I think he thinks those cars are affordable as well. We tell him about our idea to win that $15 million thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then we fly to Mars. Yep, that's in good. His, we'll be like, look, keep your money. Just put us <laughs> on that rocket. Yeah. Okay. That'd be cool. Yeah, I'm into it. All right, done. Cool. Thanks, Elon. Uh, also, r- r- this shell thought is by Ray Q U G G A. Ray Q. Do you know what? I was listening to another. Oh, that's annoying. That's something's <laughs> beeping. I don't know what's going on here. That's fine. This is our worst think, episode. Well, think, yeah. so it's fine. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, this. Yeah, I was listening to another podcast and they were struggling with How names, and I felt pretty good about it. I was like, oh, it's not just me. Okay, uh, this person says, there are people out there you haven't met yet who will love you. Isn't that nice? I guess so. It's creepy if you ask it's me. Pretty, yeah, I think it's a nice thing. Yeah. But it is creepy if you think like, because when you initially read that, you're like, oh, okay, you know, so I'm going to fall in love with somebody one day that maybe I've never met. Maybe I'll have kids, yeah. you know? Kids yeah, yeah, will love me. Yeah. But then you think about it of like, well... Uh, what if somebody loves me that I don't ever meet? That's creepy. I See, reckon. I, I read this in an even creepier way, which is for some reason, I don't know why I interpreted it this way straight away, is that someone sitting out there, say, like for you, being like, can't wait to not meet Nelson. Oh, I love him so much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like they're for some reason aware of you, but you haven't <laughs> met them yet. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking of. Um, <laughs> and you don't think that's creepy. No, I do think that's creepy. I'm thinking like it's sweet when you think about like kids or you know somebody right. you love. Oh, it's yeah, creepy yeah. If, it's, if you don't know the person that loves you. Yeah, but who knows? Well, we did just do that. Thirty-six questions, may you love us? <laughs> Presumably, there's 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 a ton ten, of people, tens of people that love us, tens of people. But um, we're working on that. Well, that's fine. <laughs> uh, okay, here's another one. It's by In Need of Therapy. It's easy to do permanent damage when you're temporarily upset. I agree with this. Yeah, sure. Have you ever done that before? Permanent damage when I'm temporarily upset? Yeah. Um, p- probably. Uh, good think answer. I think, I Great answer. Well, I think Thanks for contributing, Kevin. I think it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll just fuck off. I'm sorry. Uh, Keep going. I, I would say it's just easy to do permanent damage, period. I do permanent damage when I'm happy. <laughs> okay. Uh, but okay. I do it when I'm upset. I do it when I'm happy. I do it when I'm horny. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I would just always do permanent damage. That's weird. 
I mean, but I just think that's a, a human thing to do is just kind of fuck yourself up, I guess. Okay. I mean, I I, I guess I can see what you mean. But yeah. I mean, you can also do good, I guess. Or do you just only permanent, <laughs> you do permanent damage? <laughs> I mean, sure, I try and do good as well, but yeah. I okay. Because I, I, I thought about this um, literally and metaphorically. Okay. Literally being like, there's been times where um, I remember one time uh, when I was quite younger, my I I was in the shower and uh, my mum yelled to me uh, while I was in the bathroom like sure. yelled something through the door. Yep. I can't remember what it, what it was, but it made me upset. Right. And so I was like, "Damn it!" And I slammed my hand down and I broke the like porcelain shelf right. off. Oh. And I was like, "Oh, this is awkward." And then uh, and then like just immediately regret it. I was like, "Why? This was just such a bad idea. Why did this happen?" And then. Um, uh, and then I had to pretend that it was an accident, <laughs> and it didn't really uh, didn't really get, go down too well. Right. I think she was like, "No, I'm pretty sure I heard you hit it." As <laughs> I t- <laughs> um, so I don't really picture you as like a um, striking object when you're angry kind of guy, but I don't know. It was pro- I was a I was an angsty teen. It was probably <laughs> something really stupid, yeah. like Nelson, clean up your room. Oh, I hate this life. <laughs> um, uh, or uh, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I sometimes get pretty. When I get angry, I get pretty angry, and I sometimes like I don't know punch things. Right, it's not. Well, I've it's known not you long enough. I don't really remember a time when you were really that angry. Yeah, I didn't. I don't know. Except for when I like fuck up the show. Yeah, I like, get so you guys angry. Don't understand. After this stops recording, Nelson, he gets scary. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I do get angry sometimes. Don't test me, Kemba. I probably will get angry. But also, do you know what I was thinking is more relevant to this, uh, more metaphorically, is, uh, it's easy to do permanent damage when you're hungry. Yeah. yeah I absolutely. think the worst thing in the world you can do is shop when you're hungry. Mm. It's the worst idea. I buy so much crap and mm. I take it home. I do permanent damage to my body, to my wallet. So many... Th- it's a bad idea. Yeah. Don't you, do anything when you're hungry. Yeah, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm a bit peckish and I'm at the shops. Oh, no, I brought a GoPro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, why did I... I can't even eat that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and, and horny, I would say. Like Pink Hat Man. Yeah. All right. He doesn't cheat on his wife. He cheats on his wife because he's horny. That's doing permanent damage to the marriage. That's true. Well, not if he continues to get away with it. <laughs> In which case, it's genius. <coughs> yes. Um, okay, here's another one. This is by uh, Sauerkraut1321. Feeling the urge to pee the moment you lie down in bed is the human equivalent of attempting to shut down a computer with applications still running. It's pretty funny. Yeah. It's Let's move on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this one is by. I can't wait till you message uh, Sauerkraut1321. <laughs> and it's like, hey, we've used your comment in episode. He's like, geez, can't wait to hear it. Can't wait to hear what they had to say. Uh, okay, he's going to be so excited. He gets to this timestamp, however long we are in. He's listened to the whole. This isn't to the bad audio, just the terrible to that. audio. And he goes, oh, oh, there's something name here. It comes. Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, hey, oh, now they're you, mocking me. It could have been way worse, yeah, to be honest. True. We've said much, like, <laughs> we, I commended you for something that was right. entertaining. Yeah, that's but true. other people I've ripped to shreds, so <laughs> consider yourself <laughs> lucky. <laughs> Count your blessings. <laughs> Sound crayon. <laughs> one, three, two, one. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, this is by w- We... I think it's Wiley Coyote. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. Wiley Coyote. <laughs> I mean, that's not how you spell it, so... No. <laughs> uh, at any moment, you could suddenly wake up from a coma with the last thing you remember being this moment. Right. Think about that, mm. Gambo. That's a scary thought. Yeah, not for us. No. We're, we're past that moment now. Have we? I don't know. <laughs> I, this is what I'm thinking. Right. Right? Okay. Um, uh, this one. Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Uh, I'm in a coma. I'm in a coma. I'm in a coma. Who? Right. Now, when you wake up for the coma, I'm going to give you that punchline. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because you wake up and be like, oh, my God, the last thing I remember was I was missing the punchline to this <laughs> joke about I'm in a coma. Who? That would be the perfect thing. And then my answer would be you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you'd be and like, and how did you predict that? And, and, I'd, well, and I'd go, 
I'm in a coma, you. <laughs> what? Like, no, we should do this again. <laughs> oh, um, I had two years to come up with a punchline. You were yeah. in a coma for so long. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, your wife has left you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is awkward. Um, but yeah, I, I think that would be hilarious if you had told a joke and you just missed the punchline and then you went into a coma and then two years later you were like, oh, I want... I." really want to know the punchline to that <laughs> joke. Or how about, yeah, if you but, feel yourself slipping into a coma, hmm. you're like, I know I'm about to go into a coma. I just got to get out the setup for this joke just before I feel myself <laughs> off. And then they'll have to wait. They'll, they'll want to keep me alive. They're like, don't unplug him, doctor. <laughs> we really do want to know I'm in a coma who. <laughs> uh, it's so dumb, but I'm... I'm really hoping that if you do get into the coma within the next like 24 hours, <laughs> that the last thing you remember was just that before, joke. <laughs> that joke, just before the, I explained it all to you. <laughs> and then after I, you woke up and I said, You. <laughs> and then you were like, I'm in a coma, you? So. And then I would play you back this podcast <laughs> and be like, Oh my God, that's what you said you were going to say. So. <laughs> When, when I'm waking up of the, out of the coma, so I'm get, I'm kind of bleary eyed, and there's all these shapes coming in, and then is it suddenly just your face over me? <laughs> yeah. And then the first thing I hear is you. <laughs> yeah. Then high eyebrows looking down at me like, eh? yeah, that's right. I everybody like, be I, like, and I'm like, what? What? Where am I? What year is this? No, no, you. <laughs> huh? Huh? <laughs> remember, Every- remember that joke? No, I don't remember anything. <laughs> The doctor comes in and says, oh, yeah, his memory won't return for a good 24 to 48 hours. Yeah. So every now and again, I just feel like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> Don't speak to him Everybody, I come back. Everybody would be like, oh, man, Nelson has been such a good friend to you <laughs> for these two years that you've been in the camera. He's been by your bedside day and night. Um, <laughs> anyway, that'd be the best payoff anyway, ever. <laughs> Okay, is that yeah? All right, Let, that's it. Let's move on to uh, Ask Reddit, Cameron. Okay. Ask Reddit. This Ask Reddit is by Grifter Dingo. If you were a bridge troll, what would be the toll to cross your bridge? Oh, the toll. I mean, money's good though, isn't it? It's pretty good. I see, I'm such a greedy guy. Yeah. That, but okay, no. Let me think of an answer. How much money? I mean, are you just like are well, you just like a standard is... toll? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's, on a freeway, uh, it's like a two twenty. <laughs> <laughs> are you coming back? You can get a two way pass for four bucks. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, or hey, we've got these electronic tags now. I mean, I don't really like staying here. I'd appreciate right. it if you just uh, beeped on your way through. <laughs> so here's my question: What is on the other side of this bridge? Because normally, when you see oh. this in movies. Okay. It's just over like a little creek or something, and the trolls just stand. It's just connecting one side of the forest to another. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty. Which much to it. me, if I was a troll in business, I'd be like, "Well, what's going to stop my clientele from just walking further down this creek and just crossing the creek? Because they're normally pretty shallow as well." Uh, yeah, that's true. So it depends. What have I got on the other side of my bridge? What am I? Well, this, this would all depend. You know what, Cam? I think you've brought up a great point, and this now comes down to practicality. Yes, yeah. <laughs> right. So it's not about. Exactly what would you tell me? It'd be like, okay, somebody could cross this stream, this little river that, you know, is, is barely like foot deep. Yeah. Uh, they might get a bit muddy. So what can you charge that person just to avoid the inconvenience right, okay, of yeah, getting yeah. slightly muddy shoes? So like your 220 is not unreasonable. Yeah, but yeah. Somebody be like, oh, yeah, okay, I'll pay the 220 to cross. But then are you living under that bridge or do you have like a little troll apartment? Because if you've got a little troll apartment, yeah. you, know, you need a lot of people crossing for 220 to be to be paying. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? So you, need, you need one of these little troll bridges on like a major metropolitan highway or something. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. But then that's the thing because then if you had too many people and it just got backed up, people wouldn't even want to pay the 220 just to wait to cross the bridge. They'd be like, I'm just going to cross the stream. But here's the thing. what You need it in, in an area that people, like like some kind of uh, uh, a corporate office or something like that where people don't want to have to have muddy ankles. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. They, want, they want to look good. All right. So you've okay. got your little troll ooh, bridge. Ooh, ooh. How about like a wedding reception across hey, okay. the road? Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. 
So you've got your little troll bridge like outside a, of a wedding reception venue. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Like an, an, a nice um, vineyard or something. So I guess every every weekend, because it's weekend work, essentially, you can go get a full-time job during the week. <laughs> yeah, that's And then at the weekend when the wedding is right. on the we're, side, we're, you're, we're, you're normally an Uber driver. <laughs> Like you want to take a shortcut? I know a bloody bridge you can take. You know, cost you two dollars twenty. Uh, yeah, that's a good. One. Oh man, synergy! <laughs> this is great. <laughs> so you set up outside the wedding venue mm -hmm. on the weekend, and then every time the wedding guests come in, or you know, do the in and out for four dollar deal if they want to. Yeah, you're making some some coin. Okay. Yeah. You want to be a big. You don't want to be one of those small little intimate wedding venues where you only get like forty guests or whatever. Yeah, you want a you decent amount. Yeah, yeah. You want a decent amount. Um, okay, this is my other thing, right? Let's um, let's say that instead of a small river, it's like I don't know, a river of lava. Yeah, and on they're they're escaping something very horrible, right? Yep. So they need to cross. Let's say a dragon. They are trying to escape a dragon. Oh, yep, yep. Okay, let's do that. Let's yep. do that. I'm thinking of Shrek. I would. Okay, sure. Yep. <laughs> Good. Yep, I like it. Uh, I'm thinking what's the most I could get away with from them. Yeah. Not, now, not, not, not necessarily for like monetary gain, oh. but just kind of like to what limit can I push people? <laughs> right. You know, just because first I'd be like, okay, um, like kick that old lady. Mm-hmm. Right, and then somebody might be like, "Oh well, I'm escaping the dragon." Okay, kick the lady. Like, yeah. can't believe you did that. <laughs> and then, like, mental win. I'd just note that down. I'd be like, "Okay, so will it will cross bridge to kick old lady?" So right, put that in the tick box. In this scenario, you you don't need the money. You're, I don't need the you're, money. You're just trying. I'm doing it for trolls. <laughs> hey, damn it! Ah, yeah, uh, get it. Very good. Thank That's you. That's the best joke. <laughs> um. Oh, okay. presumably that's so where that you, came You're from. some kind of four foot tall, residing under a bridge, Darren Brown, yeah. seeing how far you can m take people and make yeah. them do things. Like bend, you know, yeah. people and um, force them to do something they wouldn't otherwise do. Yeah. And then I think, okay, so it'd work, it'd, it'd work up from, you know, something like kicking an old person yep. and then, I don't know, like kicking a puppy. And they, <laughs> what? <laughs> I've got a thing against puppies. You Kevin. really do. And then, and then it would be okay. Then I'd get the be. This is the scenario. Yeah. Some people are running up. They're like, "Oh help! There's a dragon! Oh my god! It's gonna get us!" And it's like a father and his daughter. And I'd be like, "Okay, you want to cross?" And then I'd oh, give I'm... a gun to the father, and I'd be like, "You know what to do." <laughs> You have to shoot your daughter. And he'd be like, what? I can't do that. I can't do that. And then at the last minute, he'd be like, oh, I'll just shoot me instead. And then he goes to shoot himself and it clicks. Oh. Right? And I'm like, well done. You okay. passed the test. <laughs> and then they can go across the okay. bridge. I thought that this was going to go in a darker direction. Well, I thought what you were going to say is you'd give him the gun and go, you have to shoot your daughter. And he's like, oh, my God, I don't know what to do. But the dragon's coming, you know, um... You know, two, two of us died. It's just one of us need to die. And then he does decide to shoot his daughter. Sh <laughs> okay. like shoots her right in the head. Yeah. And you go, I didn't say you have to kill her. Shoot her in the <laughs> foot or something. <laughs> oh, my God. That would be perfect. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Because that's exactly probably what would happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't say kill your daughter. <laughs> I just oh said my shoot. God. Oh, you. God. You, <laughs> you horrible, you person. horrible person. Get off. Get over the bridge. I don't want to talk to you. Yeah. Uh, anyway, that's what I'd do as a <laughs> troll. Okay, here's another one. Um, uh, oh, oh, yeah, okay. I forgot I put this one in here, but okay. This is by Lilac Penny. People who were fired slash let go slash made redundant in brackets, not there. Because their company went under... Uh, let me read that without the stupid thing that I said. Yeah. Because uh, people who were fired slash let go because their company went under, what are the signs that the ship was going down that you missed or ignored? Right. And now is this question more for you? Yeah. I thought okay. that I would have something in this podcast yep. that was just directed at me. Right. And you just sit there silently. Yeah, I'll, I'll go and make myself a drink or well, something. I mean, don't go. Because I'm not sure how long I'm going to talk about this. Okay. for. A while. I mean, it's about me, so probably for a while. But, <laughs> but just in case. Right. I don't like the direction this is headed, but 
Uh, no, all this this was my thought yeah. on the matter. So, for those new listeners, oh yeah, Nelson used to work for a company that was like arcade games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I was, not, then not, I was made redundant. Not the cooler new like virtual reality ones, but like your your Daytonas and your oh yeah, your Buck Hunters and things like that. Yeah, your Penny Arcades. Your Penny Arcades. Uh, so what happened was my my whole point of bringing this up is that. I don't think, and feel free to write in and let me know, yep. but I don't think it should ever be a shock. And if it's a shock, it's probably because you're an idiot <laughs> and you were the cause of the business failing. Right. Because, I mean, for me, I worked in an arcade game industry. Yeah. Right, that's not booming. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> but also, the uh, the company, the larger company that owned the arcade company, was not putting any money into it. Th- this was literally what happened to me. Right, I got hired to be a business development manager, which is essentially sales. It's like business to business sales. Yep. And so what we would do is we'd go into a partnership with uh, somebody that owned a venue, and we'd say, "Hey, we're going to put arcade games in your venue, and then we split the revenue." Uh, we sure. get 60%, you get 40%, yep. right? It was basically a win-win. Yep. It wasn't hard to sell at all. Uh, you just had to convince people that using their space in this way would be beneficial. So I got um, a few, I got like maybe one or two or three businesses at the start. And when I got sort of the third one, and it was a bit of a bigger installment, a few more machines, maybe 10 machines uh, in this venue. Sure. Uh, because we had to supply the machines, obviously. Yep. The uh, the uh, CEO of the company said, we can't actually afford to... Well, we're not going to put the money into buying more machines. So get them from other locations okay. and put them into this one. So essentially, we were just spreading the revenue <laughs> rather than increasing yeah. it. And it was very much at that right. point that I was like, okay, I'm not really convinced <laughs> my job here is secure <laughs> uh, <laughs> because right. without actually putting money in, you literally, the, my position shouldn't exist. <laughs> uh, and I did hold on for a bit longer and they actually... Um, Put me. I think they realized this. They were like, "Oh shit, we, this is just like a stupid position, because we're not going to spend any money for it." So then uh, I ended up getting getting put in another position, uh, and then. But again, it was in the arcade game industry. It was yeah. always going to fail. Um, but I feel like that's probably the case for mo- most businesses. Most businesses don't go down like overnight. Yeah, there's you know? a couple of signs. There's a slow lead up to it, and if you're surprised by it. You're an idiot. That's all I wanted to say. Okay. That was, that was a good little uh, lesson. Yeah. A little story from the book of Nelson. Yeah, that's right. Mark that one down with the rest. <laughs> I went, I was, sorry, I was talking to my, uh, my, my, this guy I paid to, <laughs> to do to. an autobiography on me. <laughs> He's listening to the podcast. He has to listen to every episode. <laughs> Doing a memoirs of Nelson. Okay. Anyway, Cambo, uh, that's it for Ask Reddit. Uh, we now can get into our questions. So for those who don't know, um, we I alluded to it earlier, but we went through a series of 36 questions that we found online where there was a doctor guy who came up uh, with uh, a series of questions that if you did them with a partner, you'd end up falling in love. Exactly. We did this with you, the listeners, and then you loved us. And we were like, oh. Commitment. Commitment. No, thank you. And so then we found in the same study another set of questions uh, to make you like us. Yeah. So Which is weird. Despite the fact that we've done this podcast every week for 78 weeks, we're afraid of commitment. We're still afraid yeah. of commitment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, like because this, this podcast is so unstable, just teetering <laughs> yeah. on the edge, I'm like, you know what? could end at any second. We could shut this down at any moment and like, walk away. Like we just said, if I didn't have this job next week, I'd be like, I saw it coming. <laughs> I saw it coming from day one when yeah. we started. Kevin never reads the show notes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. All these problems with the mics all the time. <laughs> okay, anyway, so we're up to question 10. And question 10 is... What is your favorite holiday and why? Okay. Um, 
it's it's weirdly framed. Is it is? is yeah. It, what, it's what like, was your favorite holiday? Or what is your favorite holiday? Like, what's your favorite holiday? Like to do, destination. like skiing yeah. or like yeah, yeah. I <sighs> I don't know. Answer both. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I'm gonna go with what I enjoyed the most. I think. Yeah. Which was actually uh, with yourself and Eden. No, you can't do that one. Okay. Because that's mine. Okay. No, well, I hated that one. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I, I've been pretty unadventurous. I keep falling into the trap of going back to the same places all the time. Yeah, yeah. You know, like uh, mm. I've been to America three times now. Yeah. And then I just got invited to go back in, in October. Uh, yeah. And my mind's like, ah, oh, I do want to, but also yeah. I should go somewhere else. Yeah, you know? yeah. There's other parts of the world. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's true. So our road trip that we yeah. went on yeah. was pretty good. And yeah, I agree. That was our best one. Yep. Uh, I want to do my it again. Best, my best holiday. Yeah, so do I. I actually went, yeah, yeah. I, I um, reformatted my phone last night and then it was like reloading everything. So I saw all the photos come up from well, our trip. I was it's like, funny, we didn't do that it's again. It's funny you should say that because because of this hacker job of a podcast that you're listening to right now, we had to set up on Nelson's computer. Yeah. And when I opened your computer... The photo library came up and it was full of photos from, <laughs> our, right. from our road trip. Yeah, yeah. And it actually got me thinking just before. I'm like, man, because we, we went from one side of the country to the other. We flew over to Perth. We drove back to, to Melbourne. So that's going, I guess, horizontally across Australia. Yeah. And we've always talked to then going vertically. Like yeah. go up to the top of Australia and drive all the way down. Yeah. I want to go vertically and then a little bit to the left. I it will not entertain this thought. Okay. <laughs> That's right. Or like maybe on the inside yeah. of uh, Victoria and New South Wales and Queensland yep. rather than on the coast. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't exactly go on the great Australian bite, did we? We just drove in a straight fucking line. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, I, I mean, I suggest that to a lot of people. So I we, think we uh, can podcast I don't know, we, from the road. We could podcast from the road. Stop at different towns. Yeah, that's true. We'd we'd give Eden like a Rubik's Cube to play with for an hour <laughs> or something like that, you know? Um, he but, cannot come on. <laughs> yep, obviously, obviously not. But the actual, the, the reason that this podcast exists all stems from a single conversation we had while on that road trip. Yeah. And the, this conversation was so fascinating. It was another story from the Book of Nelson. Yeah. That became so interesting that I had to pull out my phone and start recording it because I wanted to listen to it later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's the reason that we're like, hey, that was fun. We should do that, I don't know, every Monday night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, in fact, Eden was meant to be on the show. He was. And then uh, I don't know what happened to that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on and, if you want, Eden. And then he wasn't. So, yeah, come on if you want. We should get Eden on. He's got a comedy festival oh, show coming a, up. He does have a comedy festival show coming up. Oh, wait, but next week we've got other people coming on. Oh, uh, yeah. And then the week after, I think it'll be too late. Who knows? <laughs> we'll have them on anyway. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Just for a hoot. Yeah. Um, but anyway, go on a road trip is what yeah. we're saying. Yeah. It's a bloody good holiday. With us. We do it. Yeah, we know how to now. do it. Now. Oh, no. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Now, would you believe it? It's time for Ask Me Anything. Yeah, it's the structure of the show, Nelson. I know the structure of the show very well. Mm, do you? Mm. I don't know. Uh, so uh, this is where listeners of, the show, uh, listeners of the show, just like you, listener, can write into us and ask us anything you want. Uh, we uh, have two. Now, I want to say one is from Amanda. Yep. And Amanda, I don't think you realized, but by when you were away, you wrote us two emails, presumably a week apart, but we got them at the same time, um, just so you know. Yes. So we weren't ignoring your question last week. It's just that it only came through this week. Yes. So the next week we'll do the other one that came through. I agree with Nelson. Having said that, I don't check the email. So yeah. I, presume, I presume what he's saying is correct. Uh, I'll, I'll take your manners. I haven't read this, so forgive me if I stumble on my words because I will. Okay. Hi, guys. I hope you're having fun. We are. Uh, I was on holiday this week and listened to you while camping at the beach. Very relaxing. I do not believe that to be true. Uh, my question this week is about when you were kids. What's the one thing that your parents wouldn't let you do that you swore you would do when you were growing up and that you now do? Take care and thanks for making me laugh. Hugs, Amanda. Um, uh, I, I by the way, say. can I say, Amanda, I don't know. It's like the sweetest thing to end your thing saying, take care and thanks for making me laugh. It's just like such a nice it thing is, to isn't say. It? I'm like, oh, man. I'm She's really just like, a little bundle of gonna, joy. We're just going to do this show for Amanda from now on. I don't yeah. care if anybody else stops listening, all right? That's it. 
Um, and if anyone's going to stop listening, this is the episode. <laughs> yeah, do it now. Um, I mean, so if anything. I, I guess what, what, what I discovered coming into adulthood is that m- my parents were right about a lot of things. When they're yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I'm like, I want to have cereal for dinner. And they're like, <laughs> no, you can't have cereal. It, it's not going to satisfy you. I'm like, it will. <laughs> and then, <laughs> yeah, I, I moved out of home. I moved out of home when I was like 19. I was like, mm. I can have cereal for dinner all I want. Yeah. And after two nights, I'm like, oh, I'm so hungry. <laughs> this does not satisfy me. <laughs> so I tried a lot of things that my yeah. parents suggested that I, that I not do. But I don't think there's anything I've kept up. Yeah. I think they were pretty on the money for most things. Right, yeah, that's th- that's true. Uh, that's what I learned the most, I think. Uh, and I think uh, part of that is um, uh, just touching on cereal is like just having all the sugary like cocoa pops yeah. and stuff like that. Just how I wanted that all the time, yeah. and we'd only very rarely have it. And then as soon as I was moved out, I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna buy cocoa pops. <laughs> I was like, oh, this sucks. Actually, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's so sweet for a breakfast thing. I didn't want this. <laughs> yeah. It's such a exactly. bad idea. Yeah. Um, yeah. Even just like like advice. You know, I remember my dad was like, oh, I don't watch Friends. It's crap. And I was mm-hmm. like, oh, you know, I want to watch Friends. And then I watched it. I watched Friends pretty late in life, and I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. It's not that bad, but it's like <laughs> maybe it's right a there. weird thing for your dad to say. I think he really for some. I don't know why my dad really did not like Friends. <laughs> okay, I yeah. don't know why. Um, but then, yeah, watching it when I'm old, I'm like, oh, it's it wasn't worth the wait. I guess you know. He, yeah, yeah. It wasn't like a yes. I got one up on him. It's great. It's fine. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess the only thing uh, to answer this question is about something that I continued doing okay. was probably playing computer games. Right. Because I think my dad was like, ah, quit that crap. It's no good for you. Right. I mean, it's still no good for me, but I, <laughs> but I still do it. Because um, he even said, he's like, ah, it's just a phase. You'll stop playing at right. some point. Jokes on him. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I even like I, I used to when I was young. I used to draw a lot and read comics, and I do those things now. But I guess my parents were never like stop that, you know. They were yeah, just like, yeah. no, I guess you. No, my dead. dad was actively like stop that, <laughs> stop playing games. <laughs> I was like, shut up, dad. Um, You're in the shower playing video games, smashing yeah. bits off the shower. Exactly. That's probably why I got so angry. My mom was like, stop playing. <laughs> Well, stop playing on your Game Boy in the shower. I was like, shut up, mom. You can't tell me how to shower. <laughs> um, and now I play the Game Boy in the shower all Every the time. Day. <laughs> uh, but uh, Amanda actually said this. I shortened that email, by the way. She actually said that her um, thing was when she was younger, she wanted to get a bumper sticker of where they had traveled and okay. then stick those on the back. Yep. But her dad was against sticking the stickers on sticking any bumper stickers on the car right but now on her camper van ah, she has lots of stickers oh, nice. on the back i was like yeah that's again a, that's she, a cool thing to do amanda's just a better person than us but in general that's <laughs> we true. talked about the vindictive things we wanted to do <laughs> <laughs> hers is very sweet and sincere yeah oh man um yeah i don't know I, like you said i think at the end of the day, my parents were right way more often yeah. <laughs> than I was in terms of things that I shouldn't do when I'm older and I stopped doing it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sort of. um, but okay, uh, we've got another one here. It's by Rowan. And he says, Gentlemen, as requested, attached is a picture of our former cat, Charlie. Thank you very much. And may I say, ugh. And Actually, thank you to everyone I, that emailed in a picture of their pet. That was fantastic. Just to ruin my day, basically. <laughs> no, I don't really know why I hate it so much. It's more like I just don't want to talk about your pet. Yeah. Sure, you can send them through. <laughs> okay, whatever. But it's like I don't want to be involved in a conversation where you tell me how cute your pet is and all the cute things your pet does. Don't don't write in with us <laughs> now. <laughs> or do. Oh, don't. Nah, even in an email, I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. It's yeah, you just won't not, read it. <laughs> I don't want to, yeah, I don't want like a conversation. I don't want a face to face thing about how great your pet is. That's but boring. Even if someone spent the time writing an email about how great their pet is, you just won't read it. So it's just going to yeah. be wasted. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but I do have to say, I think Rowan won for cutest pet. Thank okay. you. I reckon it was a pretty close between him and. Uh, Friend of the show, Edwina, for her yeah. dog, I think. Okay. Both were very close. Okay. Right? Um, we're melting his heart, listeners, slowly oh. but surely. Yeah. He used to want to kick dogs. To try. He just earlier this episode. No, I wanted <laughs> I wanted to kick all the other dogs. Okay. Just not 
Edwina's or the or Rowan's cat. Okay. Think of that everyone else that sent their I mean, I'd never, wanna, <laughs> I'd never want to I'd never want to kick a cat. I'd never want to kick a cat. Only because it seems like a waste. You know, they always land on their feet. <laughs> <laughs> Thought for a second that you were, you had a soft spot. But. <laughs> anyway, okay. okay. He did uh, ask a question, right? Uh, fun fact: on the advice of the vet, we had Charlie's penis removed due to constant life-threatening urinary blockages. This essentially made him a transsexual. Oh, I guess interesting. Yeah. Um, it's 2018, though. That's fine. Yeah, it wasn't fine a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, AMA 40.0. Oh my God, it's 40 times. Jesus. 40 weeks wow. of Rowan's questions. That's more That's more than half of the time we've been yeah, going. That's, that's crazy. Okay. Uh, following on from, I mean, I guess it's always been more than half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I've just noticed yeah, now yeah, yeah. because it's a round number. 40. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, following on from the Reddit post about a woman who received $16,000 from the mayor for cutting an old man's ham. Yep. Hmm. Sounds like a euphemism. Cool. You have $16,000 to give away. Who do you give it to and why? Noting you cannot give it to each other or benefit from it. He has uh, been listening to this show He knows show this enough. show. He knows this show way too all well. All right, all right. right. Uh, $16,000. I have to do something altruistic, do I? <laughs> Could I use the money for the suffrage of animals? No, I don't know. I don't know why I'm doing this persona <laughs> of hating animals so much. Look, I'm, all I'm saying is I would take money for occasionally, very rarely, <laughs> causing harm to a dog, okay? <laughs> but not like all the time. Yeah. Animals are fine, yeah. right? Okay. I, I'm just a charity, I guess. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to just give it to guide dogs just to spite you. <laughs> um, okay, sixteen thousand uh, dollars. Oh, we can't benefit from it. Okay. Um, could I just give it out in? Or do I have to give it out at once? Um, ba, ba, ba. Don't think so. Ha ha! <laughs> Loophole. <laughs> I would no. Okay, okay. I'm gonna give it to one person. Okay. No, no, this is pretty bad. This goes back to me being the villain of the show again. Right. I was going to give it to anyone who, in the Facebook comments of the first thing I spoke about on the podcast, who was brave enough to say it was probably the smoking. <laughs> <laughs> because bravery right. should be rewarded. Right. Right. And the honesty. Okay. It's a tough thing to do. So you would give... I think... Okay, I, I don't think I'd do that. I would give it to... But I would give it in the same vein as that. Somebody that breaks the mold, right? Of, right. Of something's right. So somebody who maybe says, uh, you know, stands up and writes a big article about why it's not such a big deal that Facebook uses our data for advertising or something like that. Right. Give that person... You know, to be like, okay, good, you've broken the mold, right? You're not an idiot. Here's here's some money or so something you, like you that. You wouldn't like award heroism, say, like say there's a firefighter and he went and saved someone, but he got severely burnt, and you'd be like, hey, look, I know sixteen thousand dollars isn't going to be enough to, you know, for the rest of your life, but mm. it's money that you but, don't have. You know? But those people do get rewarded, right? We're talking about people that like, like this lady cut somebody's ham and got sixteen thousand dollars. Right. I'm putting it of the perspective you know what? I'll of give it like, back to her. Yeah, <laughs> she would get now what thirty sixty four. Wait, sixty four. What are you talking about? Sixteen and sixteen. Yeah, what's that? Thirty two. Yeah. Oh yeah. Where did I get sixty four from? Know. I don't. I do not know. Anyway, thirty two thousand dollars. Exactly. That's ridiculous. The year's salary. Yeah. No, that's what I'm comparing it to. Right. right? I'm comparing it to like menial things, semi menial things. Right. Which I don't know. That wasn't necessarily the question, but I would put on a challenge. I oh, know because this benefits me. I'm gonna say whoever can make the funniest thing. That amuses me most, I would award $16,000. But then is that a benefit to me because it's amusing mm, me? You know what I'm saying? I think so. Because you you also wouldn't want it to be like, oh, you get um, somebody to create the most amusing thing to the general populace. Because 
They're idiots. Most people like the Big Bang Theory. Exactly. And, uh, and they cannot them. be trusted. So, <laughs> uh, although, admittedly, I don't mind it. You're the one that hates, a bit, yeah. hates it more. Uh, I can't believe it's been going on for long. It's, it, for it's long. like 14 years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I, cause I guess that benefits me. But I, I, I want someone to create something. I think that's a good thing to encourage. Okay. And I like b- being made to laugh. So okay. I think that should be encouraged. All right. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to allow this okay. as being the rightful cousin to Rowan and therefore allowed to Whoa, you've adjust broken the, the illusion. question. People what? didn't know whose cousin he was until this. I mean, or is it? <laughs> or am I? I mean, I was just half expecting you to say that you were because that's what you do. Nah, you broke the illusion by saying <laughs> I broke the illusion. <laughs> or is this an elaborate route? Oh, or is this an illusion? <laughs> Hmm? No, no, it's, it's Nelson's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Sick of the lies. <laughs> anyway, um, what else? Oh yeah, it's fine. You yeah. can you can <laughs> you can do that because it will also benefit other people. So yeah. long as it's not solely for you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. It's something about like specifically my life. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it needs to be I mean, generally I'm... considered funny, but also the one I find most amusing. Yeah. I mean, I suppose. Uh, I would, uh, I mean, if I could use it selfishly, I'd use it on the guy that's writing my memoir. Right. <laughs> but yeah. at the moment, he's not getting paid anything. <laughs> We're going to have to cut this part out because I told him I would. <laughs> he's doing it for high school credit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm a very influential person is what I told him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, Cambo, uh, that's it for another episode of Reddit on Reddit. It's in the books. In the books. Uh, and if you, listener, would like to write into us, you can do so. Reddit podcast, R E A D I T podcast, at uh, Gmail, at Facebook, at Twitter, on our subreddit. Yep. Yeah, just yell. And just uh, yell out. <laughs> just yell it out. I mean, we won't hear it. <laughs> but, yeah. but it's good to get it out of your system. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. Well, no, write it down because we want to, like. <laughs> We want to yeah, be able to respond. We need that sweet, sweet content. It's not like, don't like yell into the void. Hey, what's your favorite <laughs> candy? Because I don't think that's going to really like, you know, benefit you at Certainly all. Certainly not going to hurt anyone. Yeah, that's that's true. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, we're, right into us. We're really sorry about the quality of the audio of this. We episode. are really sorry, oh, man. It's, it's, Hopefully, it's, we can. If you've made it through this far. Actually, let us know. Yeah. I'd well, we'll try and... Uh, just t- write on our wall being like, do better. Yeah. Or also tag some sort of audio company yeah. when you do and say, hey, give these guys better equipment. Yeah. Hey, at road. Yeah. yeah. Do yeah. that. They're just up in Sydney. Yeah. That's, they're so close. Uh, well, uh, what, oh, rate our show, uh, please. Yeah. Not this episode, but... Subscribe. <laughs> not... Don't... Do it for the, like the content and overall podcast, <laughs> but not necessarily specifically this episode. Yeah, yeah. And uh, hey, and we had fun. Re- and you had fun. Yeah, we we had fun. Yeah, that's all that matters because we don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks for listening, everybody, and we will read you later. I really hope this is actually.